if we really want a completely transparent government, the executive order number two, or the freedom of information, should not just be an executive order. It should be a law. It should be legislated by Congress and the Senate and signed by the President to become a law. On July 23, 2016, President Rodrigo Roa Duterte signed the Executive Order EO No. 2 Series of 2016, which operationalizes the people's constitutional right to information under the Executive Branch. Memorandum Order No. 10 Series of 2016 designated the Presidential Communications Operations Office, PCOO, as the lead agency to oversee the implementation of EO No. 2. To exercise this mandate, the PCOO established the Freedom of Information Project Management Office, FOIPMO, to monitor, evaluate, and capacitate government agencies on the FOI program and the use of the electronic FOI, eFOI portal via www.foi.gov.ph. In its three years of implementation, the FOI PMO is proud to share the following milestones and key accomplishments. As of September 30, 2019, the FOI PMO has reached 69% people's FOI manual submissions from 613 compliant national government agencies, NGAs, government-owned controlled corporations, GOCCs, state universities and colleges, SUCs, and local water districts, LWDs. A total of 4,107 designated FOI receiving officers were published in the agency's respective FOI manuals. 29,490 paper-based requests were made and reported, while 18,036 requests were lodged from 447 participating government agencies on board the portal. Out of these online requests, 47% had been successfully facilitated and processed. The FOI program aims to restore the confidence of the Filipino people in the capacity of public servants as it makes the government as transparent as ever. As part of the FOI PMO's function to raise awareness and capacitate the public to empower them on their right to access government information. The FOI team has been actively conducting various information, education, and communication campaigns across the country. In summary, the team has conducted and participated in 473 knowledge-sharing activities. Some of our notable engagements this year are the 2019 FOI Roadshows, aimed at raising civic awareness on transparency and accountability in governance. The FOI PMO is increasing media and information literacy to promote responsible handling and sharing of information and end the proliferation of fake news. The FOI team has already visited 13 different provinces from all over the country. For 2020, we are targeting to reach 22 more provinces. Press Freedom Caravans, an avenue for local and foreign media to promote various initiatives of the Philippine government to a global audience, as well as Filipino communities abroad to have an opportunity to interact with top government officials. FOI Campus Caravans, for the purpose of promoting the use of truthful information and factual data through the FOI program, the FOI PMO visits schools and promotes the program as a research tool for students and academic professionals. Education is the future of this country, and to be educated is to be informed. Informed with factual data, informed by trusted sources, and informed with convenience. That is the goal of the Campus Caravan. This 2019, we have already visited 14 different universities all over the Philippines. Dagyao, regional dialogues led by DILG and DBM with the support of the PCOO, 
which served as a venue to promote and disseminate information on the open government and participatory governance initiatives of the Duterte administration, and provided a platform for citizens to directly interface with senior officials of government through town hall sessions. FOI Receiving Officers Hangout the FOI PMO recognizes the valuable role of FOI receiving officers as the frontliners in facilitating FOI requests to further assist them in FOI implementation within their respective agencies. FOI receiving officers were gathered for a roundtable discussion to share agencies' best practices, challenges, solicit feedback, and to develop innovative solutions to further improve agency implementation. FOI Workshop for Librarians To recognize librarians as gatekeepers of information, FOI Workshop for Librarians is aimed to orient them on the FOI program, eFOI portal, and its use as an effective tool for research in their respective academic institutions. It is an accredited provider of six Continuing Professional Development CPD Units by the Professional Regulation Commission PRC. Starbucks Project In partnership with the Science and Technology Information Institute STII, an attached agency of the Department of Science and Technology DOST, the FOI PMO will be providing raw, processed and curated data stored in the eFOI portal through the Starbucks Project the first Philippine Science Digital Library. This is a standalone information kiosk containing science and technology sources in text, video, and audio formats, which can be accessed even in remote provinces. International Conference of Information Commissioners, ICIC 2019. Last March 2019, the FOIPMO was invited by the International Conference of Information Commissioners, ICIC to attend and participate in the 11th ICIC held at Johannesburg, South Africa. PCOO Assistant Secretary and FOI Program Director Christian R. Ablan served as one of the concurrent panelists. Training of Trainers for FOI Ambassadors To ensure the most effective and efficient dissemination of the FOI program, the PCOO, through the FOI PMO, trains and capacitates individuals through our Training of Trainers TOT workshop who could serve as FOI ambassadors to empower local communities at the grassroots level to ask for information from the government through the FOI program. To address policy gaps and further strengthen the implementation of the FOI program, the PCOO issued Memorandum Circular MC No. 49 creating the Interagency FOI Exceptions Policy Committee and FOI Memorandum Circular No. 001, prescribing the guidelines on the FOI appeals mechanism. The FOI PMO believes that the real measure of one's FOI program success cannot be determined by numbers alone, but also by the range and magnitude of its impact on people's lives. The true value of the FOI program is widely documented in success stories shared by people from all walks of life, from Filipino scholars abroad, working professionals, public servants, media practitioners, researchers, to ordinary citizens. How about you? Ready to ask for government information? Visit www.foi.gov.ph for more information.